Go off, Kun. Go off, go off, King. Yeah, Kun. Yeah, Kun. I don't know if I can be alone again. What's going on, guys? It's your boy Dontavious. Hope you guys are doing well, doing safe. Hope you guys have had something to do since Youth with You has been over. I know it's been particularly difficult for me and my soul and my mental energy to not have an amazing show to look forward to. I am going to be keeping up with the nine. I say that over and over again, but we are going to be also looking at other girls, you know, the girls that were in Youth with You, kind of following their careers. I know a lot of people in my comments, you know, are requesting that I follow up with particular girls. As things continue to progress in careers for each of the ladies, I will do my best to try to keep up with all of them. To also help me with that, I have recently started a Discord, which you can find the link in the description. Please join the Discord. Anytime something cool happens with any of the girls with Youth with You, any of the girls with the nine or anything like we're being talking about in this video feel free to drop it in the discord that would be the best way to keep me updated the most talked about stuff will be the stuff that obviously should be talked about in one of my videos so please uh, contribute to the discord so i can keep you know in the loop with stuff that's going over in china because obviously it's particularly difficult for me to keep up with every single thing over there because you know we don't have the same social media and all that stuff and obviously i don't speak chinese i wish i did uh so i, I woke up in the middle of the night last night and uh i i don't know why sometimes i wake up at like 4 a.m and I like check my YouTube comments because that's when you guys are the most active was when I'm asleep, <laughs> ironically enough, right? Because you guys are overseas. Someone posted that uh, Jenny, Lindsay, Lu, Floridae, and Arya, or their Chinese names, Zen Kenny, Alu Lingsa, Dai Yani, and Jin Xian are going to be debuting uh, in the show under the group name uh, 172 Girls. Now, I'm, I, did, I did do some research and I'm gonna kind of go through it here in this video so just real quick. Uh, and kind of see exactly uh, what I was able to find on Weibo and what kind of like alludes to them debuting. If this is true, that would be very cool because as we were saying, the girls in Youth With You, a lot of them are very, very talented and 100% deserve the debut. Whether or not that was in the nine or in future careers outside with Youth With You, they 100% deserve to debut. And these four particular girls are very, very good. And I think they have good chemistry together. If they're going to be debuting as an actual team, um, if they're not just, this is just like a one-off thing, which it may be. Another thing Thing. If you guys know exactly what's going on with this debut that's going to be happening on this show, feel free to put it in the comments. Whatever you know makes the most sense or is verified as a as a legitimate source or whatever, I'll be sure to pin it so everyone else who wants to be in a loop too can understand what's going on. I'm not sure if they are going to be debuting as this team or not, but if they are, I hope they are because again, these four girls together, uh, English names, Jenny, Lingsy, Flora, and Aria. Um, are very good together um, but let's just go on Weibo real quick and kind of see our Weibo and kind of see what's been going on so here in my browser I just like search the hashtag and here it's going to be on Jung's uh, Jiangsu satellite TV which I was on I don't know if I was able to find any like live stream or that's going to be happening or anything like that I know it's going to be on TV but I'm not sure if it's going to be on internet so again if you guys know any of these sources feel free to let me know in the comments um, but here the actual site says uh, these girls, you know, are super cute or whatever. Hi, super excited, waiting for you. So they're highly anticipating these girls debuting on their show uh, and then going down a little bit. And these are the most popular comments, obviously. Posts are just talking about how beautiful they are. It looks like they're going to be an actual girl group, which I hope that's facts, right? And here, you know, a lot of these comments are talking about how these girls are really good, but weren't able to debut on Youth With You. And then there's a couple of these posts saying, you know, the, the keyword debuting. Uh, so I... Again, I hope they're actually making a girl group. If they are, that'll be interesting with the nine because obviously these, this will be, a, one thing I know for certain is that these four girls are gonna be performing together um, on this show. It will be like a premiere and it's happening on the 16th, which is just about a little over two weeks or about two weeks from now. So it'll be happening fairly soon, uh, which I think that'll be sooner than what any of the top nine content's gonna be making. I know the top nine are doing their runs and they're doing their sh their um, their photography and they're getting ready for their, their, their debut. Um, but here, this is happening pretty quickly. So it's almost like this girl group, once they have like a little step you know, forward, a little quicker, which I think will be good because uh, if obviously they're gonna be as highly anticipated as the nine is but still during this time period where youth with you just ended if you're a girl group that's not really a part of the nine and you're trying to make a girl group you probably want to do it as soon as possible um but real quick i just want to talk about if this is going to be a debut group if this is a dream group 
um, I want to talk about kind of the girls in it and what they kind of bring to the table. One thing I immediately like about this is that it's a four girl squad, which is very important to me because I feel like with four girls, you get more sp spotlight to shine for each of the girls. And also, uh, in terms of height, they're all relatively similar in height. The one thing I wanted to point out immediately with these four girl groups is Flora or Dayani. Now, with Dayani, she is actually an underrated trainee. I think that she had a couple times where she was overshadowed in, in competitions and youth with you, but she didn't really grow on me, you know, and I came in un totally unbiased, right? I didn't, know, I knew nothing about any of the girls. I just kind of picked up the girls that kind of stood out to me in terms of vocals and aesthetic and all these good things. But Flora kind of stood out to me towards the end of the show. And I was like, dang, this girl's really good. And, uh, and she also has good leadership skills and she has great vocals and she's also sexy, beautiful, all these things you kind of want in a girl in a girl group. Uh, she has a more mature feel which i personally like a lot but i think she would be like an x factor to kind of make this group successful she has all of the good stuff you kind of want from a leader if she were to be a leader in the girl group but also i think again her most beautiful thing about me is her vocals and just the way she's kind of gliding effortlessly on stage there's a lot of girls sometimes where they got to kind of put in a lot of effort to kind of seem relevant but i think flora she kind of just does her own thing and she's chilling but it works out for her and that's really cool now with lingsy lu I really like Lindsay Lou. I wanted her to be a part of the top nine. She is my bias. So if I sound a little more saucy with her than other girls, it's because I'm biased towards Lindsay Lou. But she is so beautiful. I think that she kind of stood out to me since Bad Guy, and I was kind of rooting for her ever since. But she has this like this art form on stage that's just very important to have. I think it makes her unique. I was a lot of times in the show with Youth With You that I was stating that girls need to have something about them that is unique in order to pop out and, di and differentiate themselves from the other girls. Um, I don't think, you know, like in my opinion, I don't think Flora had that in the beginning, but when Lingsy Lou came out in Bad Guy, kind of stole my heart at that point, and then with uh, R&B on Night. So she has moments where she just, her choreography, her body movement is really good, and that already ensnared me. And then later on in the show with Youth With You, she came out with vocal ability, and that kind of sealed the deal for me in terms of her being in my top nine. That's why I was vouching for her, for, for her so hard. I think Lingsy Lou is a gem in the rough if she were to debut in this group i will 100 percent stand this group um a lot a lot of the reasons because of um lingsy lu and also with Ginny. so i think uh these oaca girls uh, are very very good at what they do they look like model-esque if you guys remember no company that performance was amazing stellar one for the record books for me it's my top two favorite uh, sh uh performance in youth with you but i think lingsy lu 100% deserves to debut. Now, hopefully this is again, a tangible group that's actually going to happen and it works out for them. But again, 100% bias with Lingxi Lu. Now with Arya Jin or Jin Shihan, uh, I think this is also a good opportunity for her. A lot of people wanted Arya Jin to debut. A lot of people. And a lot of people didn't couldn't stand her, right? <laughs> um, me personally, I like her. I think she's cool. I think she has a place in a girl group. I think that she has the uh, kind of look that we kind of look for in a girl group. And she and her people, I don't know if people don't give her the credit for her actually doing well on stage, but the girl does well on stage. I, I watch it, you know, I, I've seen it. It's not like I go in there looking hard at Arya Jin. I catch her sometimes doing cool stuff, and especially on focus cameras. She just has she just has fun on stage and one thing i love most about um jen Shihan is that off screen she's this shy person she's really kind of you know you know introverted sometimes but when she lets herself go in front of the girls you know on the training rooms and stuff like that she's having a good time but when she steps onto stage she is having a blast she's having so much fun and for me that's the most important thing if you're not that crazy explosive or that crazy impactful on stage at least have fun and look good doing it Jin Shihan does really well at that and she's also improved very well and on top of that she impressed me in that last stage in Hunt. Her vocals were the best on that team. I am not kidding. I think Kiki was also very, very consistent, but Arya Jin, she did very, very good in that Hunt stage. So I think if she kind of continues to improve, she already can keep up with these girls in terms of looks, no problem about it. Um, but Arya Jin, I think she can hold her own here on this team and actually make a good impact. And again, for it to be four girls, very important because you get to have as much shine as the rest of the girls equally. There's never gonna be an issue with, with line distribution. Sometimes there is, like in Blackpink, sometimes there's distribution issues with that four girl team. But I think, again, you're not gonna have as many issues like in the top nine format where a lot of people are struggling to figure out who's gonna be what, who's gonna be rapper, who's gonna be vocal, who's gonna be main this, main that. So it's like, this, you don't have to worry about that as much. So that's good, that's a good look for Aria. And then for Zen Kenny or Jenny, I think this Jenny, 
I it's one of the more interesting topics in Youth With You with Jenny because again, barely made it into the top 20, but I think in my opinion, she could have she could have competed with any of the girls in that top 20 and she could have been in top nine. You know, it just didn't go out that way for her. And in terms of her getting better in the show with Youth With You, she 100% did. I was always saying before the last couple of stages that Jenny was missing a little bit of something, but to me, she proved it. She proved it. She she has what it takes to, to be good in a good girl in a girl group. She has amazing vocals. Her vocals kind of didn't show up until like towards the end of it. But man, ever since the Eve, her, her dance ability has always been there and she is always the baddest girl on stage. She has this effortless look about her, her eye contact, immensely dangerous. Just everything about her is just so like eyes on me. Make sure you're paying attention or you're going to miss it. Don't blink. Like Jenny is that good of a girl on stage. And again, like I'm just looking at this picture of her on my screen. And even in this picture, she is piercing me. And I'm trying to like focus on what I'm saying. Like I'm serious about Jenny, guys. Do not sleep on Jenny. I think this is going to be a good time for her as well. I think these four girls 100% should debut and a lot of the other girls in the top 20 as well. But most important thing with this, I love to see Jenny and Lindsay Liu together. I love that so much. They can they complement each other so so well. Um, I made a focus cam video on them in No Company, and I just couldn't like. I was just so lucky to say to see that these two girls were on the same stage at the same time. It's a beautiful to see. But again, I hope that this is an actual girl debuting again on the Weibo things, especially in my crappy English translations. I do see the word de debut over and over again consistently so potentially could be a girl group hopefully it is i think that it can be a thing if you guys know where i can watch this show when it comes out or if i can at least watch like the after like when it gets posted somewhere let me know send me a link and again please join the discord so we can talk about stuff like this uh more often you guys can keep me updated so i can keep creating content and staying in the loop with you guys because again i don't want to just because you with you is over i don't want to just forget about these girls i have so much knowledge of these girls in my mind right now and i love to talk about it and chat it with you guys so chat me up on discord uh you can talk to me on uh on, on my social medias i put it on the, in the description um, but other than that looking forward to whatever this is <laughs> hopefully a girl debut debut either way it's a really good look for them even if it's just a one-off thing i think it's really fortunate that they're able to have some sort of thing especially as soon as this show has been over because it's only been like a week and it's going to be in the same month that that was aired well actually no like a couple weeks the month anyway it's been your boy dontavious be good be safe have good vibes uh i've been live streaming re at least recently so if you're you know want to be interested in joining me in live streams we just chat it up and talk about stuff my chat bullies me consistently i don't know why um, but it's whatever i hope you guys are being good being safe drink water take care of each other and be good also black lives matter Boom, burr, bah. see you later bye